It didn't, feel, it didn't set me back out a lot. Uh, I came back with a good performance for the last two practices, so I'm kind of kind of happy. You didn't lose any weight at all. But you worked so hard to put it on last last year. You didn't lose any weight when you got sick. Yeah, well, I lost a little bit, but I started eating with Coach Ike. They uh, put me with him, and I gained all the back. So. What are you at now? 175. And what do you want to be at when the season starts? Uh, 180, 185, around there. Damn. How were you able to, you know, were you able to stay in touch, stay up to date, just by watching film, being in the meetings, that kind of thing? Yeah, it kind of helped me out. Um, not being out there, I was able to watch people take. Like I looked up to Cam Sutton and looked at his technique, and I kind of applied it when I got back. Well, it sounds like you really hit the ground running on, on Thursday, maybe the star practice. I mean, did you feel like you know you were ready to come back in and contribute like that immediately? Yeah, I felt like I was ready. How frustrating, I mean, obviously there's a lot of competition for those, those cornerback spots next to Cam. How frustrating was it to be out as long as you were? Uh, it wasn't really frustrating. It was good to see other guys get inside there and step up. But I know when I had to come back, I had to be on my be on my game. What's been the biggest thing you wanted to improve this spring? I know you had a set back there for a couple of weeks, but kind of going into the spring, what was the, the one or two big things you wanted to get better at? I just want to keep building strength. Was that the thing that was last year? I mean, obviously it's you know, yeah. all written. I mean, that you that you came in way, you know, not not as much as you are now. Is yeah. that is that been by far the biggest thing, just to get stronger? Yeah, just to get stronger, keep being stronger. When you got Mono, were you worried that? Weeks of not lifting weights could kind of set you back a little bit in that, in that regard. Yeah, I was worried, but when I got back on the field, I felt like I had my strength. And I got in the weight room the day before I came back, and I was able to do the same amount. So I was kind of happy with that. How much more prepared are you from the middle standpoint, just from playing last year, knowing the defense, and you know how much different does it feel this spring? A lot more prepared uh, in terms of is that last year I felt like. Uh, I wasn't really prepared, so I was about like a 4 or 5 guy. But now that I'm more prepared, I feel like I'm more 4 4 and being able to contribute a lot. You more. mean you just don't have to think as much when right. you're out there, you're just kind of playing you're on just instinct? Going, yeah. Before you even had the mono, you had the car wreck, I guess. Yeah. I mean, just what, I, you know, we just saw the picture, uh, which seemed just pretty much terrifying. But what happened? I mean, you know, what was the situation? Where were you guys going? Uh, we were just uh, on a family vacation and we just ended up getting hit. But. That's about it. I mean, everyone survived, so that's the main thing. We're just happy and just blessed. When you see the picture of it or when you walk out of that car, I mean, how sort of lucky do you feel that everyone was okay? Yeah, well, I'm real lucky. You know, we just got to give all thanks to God and just glad that everyone is okay. Where was the, where was the vacation? Where were you guys heading? Uh, New Bern. New Bern? North Carolina. Okay. You guys, you know, I guess the car flipped a few times. Did it flip once? I mean, just kind of... I, I, can't, I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember how many times the car flipped. Were there any minor injuries with any, anyone in your family you've been nicked up a little bit? No, everyone is getting better. They just um, just got to keep pushing through. What were you able to do when you were out with Mono? Any, any cardio, anything? What were you able to do? Um, about a week and a half, two weeks, I was able to get back in cardio and start um, working on the bike, getting my stamina back. Were you worried you were going to be out a while? I mean, Mono could sometimes yeah. be kind of different for People. I was because I talked to a lot of people and a lot of people said they was hospitalized for a year or, or a year and a half and I'm just thinking like wow that could be me but I'm just blessed to, you know another miracle that I'm back out here. What did you do I guess from a nutrition standpoint like you said I mean it doesn't sound like you lost a lot of weight what, what were all kind of the things you did just to make sure that you didn't fall back? Well um, we're here uh, at Tennessee we're, um, we're good we're, we got uh, Smokies down at the bottom of the uh, complex and down there we eat really good they feed us five star meals a lot so I just was eating a lot of those. What, um, I just wanted to go, I'm sorry, I have to go yeah, back to the car. Yeah. When, when you say family, I mean, who all was with you? Was it like your mom, your dad? Like, who all yeah, was it was, it was my it was my whole family. Mom, dad, and my brothers and friends. Everyone okay. is all right. So. Um, I guess, was it weird for you to go through that and then come back here thinking, man, I'm healthy, and then to get mono after that? Like, right. You know. It was, it was a stressful uh, month of March, but, you know, like I said, I'm just blessed to be back out here. How happy were you to get back out and feel like you were, you um, know, together? Very happy. Very happy. What uh, it, was there like a play or anything that you got back out there and thought, man, okay, I'm I'm here, I'm fine. Um, can't remember an exact play, but I guess when we start uh, doing the sprint drills, like the tennis speed, I was up there, so I kind of was like, okay, I'm good mm -hmm. to go. How much did that practice early in this week where you had the, the interceptions, how much did that kind of just help your confidence and, and remind you, yeah, I could, I'm definitely made to play at this level? Yeah, well, it, it helped a lot. It reminded me that I can definitely play at this level and that I can definitely compete at a fast pace. So. Even though you haven't been able to be out here as much as you wanted, where do you think you've, you've grown the most this spring? Um, probably just like communication. Just being able to communicate to others and tell them what to do. People that's young, like Stephen Griffin, that's not really familiar with it, but I'm telling them what to do and they're making plays. So. How much did you kind of have to concentrate on that when you weren't able to play for a couple weeks? Yeah, well, a lot, because Martinez, he kind of told me, uh, 
you need to be out there. You know, I know you're sick, but be out there coaching others. So. How much does that help getting kind of a, a different view of the defense, if you will? Oh, I mean, it helps a lot. You can see more than just um, being in action. So I was able to see a lot more and understand concepts. When you say when you say you're playing faster, you feel like you're playing faster. I mean, what what are some things maybe you can read and react to that maybe you couldn't before? Uh, just like the receivers and they stems and things. So 